What is up guys, Twitchy Tango here. This is a pretty short video, short and sweet to the point. No crazy exposition, so let's jump into it. I'm here to make your new game plus experience just a tiny bit more entertaining. So let's talk about it. a few things you're gonna need. You're gonna need to the pray to the RNG gotcha gods that you can get a rhinoceros beetle charm. You need to buy an obscene amount of first aid spray somewhere in the ballpark of 300 to 600. And the big thing, this is where you really need to understand when to do it and how to do it. You play this all on assisted. So a few things to note. Uh, th there is a way to cheat the charms machine. And that is essentially you can save it before you go down there. Scope out the charm you're looking for. In this case, the rhinoceros beetle charm. Uh, go back to the previous save and do, do the exact combination you can do. Uh, and if you don't know this, it resets every new game plus. So maybe you had bad luck on your one of your new game plus runs looking for that striker charm, or you're looking for the rhinoceros beetle charm, or you're looking for the Ashley charm. And your next one, you literally get that charm you're looking for within the first set of combination. So keep that in mind as you're going out and playing it. And the big thing is absolutely playing this on assisted because that is the only difficulty that allows you to get a can continuous supply of first aid sprays i think it's a pretty neat thing if you're not just if you're looking to just unwind after completing everything in resident Evil 4 remake it's just a fun little thing to get a bunch of money and use it for whatever you want and i love when games have this sort of access resident Evil 4 remake is just a gem but that's kind of it very short and sweet to the point i wanted to give you guys something short and generally talk about it by finishing out uh what i have planned for content wise uh, I've got a video I'm going to be talking about my thoughts on professional and my experiences with it as well as doing a uh, talking about the glitches that got removed in the most recent patch. I think Capcom's stupid for doing so. I feel like it's pretty dumb to do something like that. And then I'm going to talk about uh, the guns on Resident Evil 4 Remake because I've upgraded every one of them and I'm going to start testing them out. And hopefully have that next week uploaded as well. As well as get a bunch of other content prepared uh, for this weekend. I've got plans to do a bunch of Jedi Survivor content. So you can expect that as well. Uh, I've got plans to talk about the KOTOR remake changes. And then another video I want to talk about why we definitely need a Lord of the Rings RPG in this day and age. But that's it, guys. If you enjoyed that short little video, be sure to hit that like button. It helps your boy out getting into the algorithm. If you really enjoy the content, consider subscribing and turning the notification bells on. I'm going to try and get to a more quicker swing of uploading stuff. But that's it, guys. That's the video. I love you all. I'll see you all in the next one. Take it easy.